My apologies. Bye. All right, Mr. Dip, we'll get us started. Um, can you explain if you know council can find a way or admin can find a way to go from 4.7 down to 3.5? Why can't you go further? Well, because that's what they found. So, you know, uh, my instructions to administration in the summer were, all right, let's use the money that we found through the efficiencies, through the budget savings account, as well as through the zero-based reviews. And in this year, understanding the economic downturn, rather than reinvest that money into services people are asking for, let's figure out a way to reduce the tax rate. And they have determined that if we want to maintain the same level of service, which let's not forget 24,000 people last year told us that was what they wanted, that this is how much they need in order to do it. So how much of a complicating factor is it that Calgary's population continues to increase? Well, the challenge here is a lot of folks will think that in an economic downturn, your inflation rate goes down a lot. And our tax rate, remember that our budget is different than federal and provincial budgets, right? In that our budget is set by, first of all, determining the level of service we need, and then the tax rate comes as an outcome of that. Provincial and federal budgets do it very differently. And so we very clearly have highlighted a level of service that we thought was the right compromise over four years. And that's what's in place now. And it is based on increasing service at the level of inflation plus population growth. So there's not a lot of huge increases in service outside of Calgary Transit. It really is about keeping up. And what we've learned in the economic downturn so far is that our inflation rate has gone down just a bit and our population growth hasn't gone down at all. So in fact, if we were looking at only inflation plus population growth for next year, that would output a tax rate in about the 4.7, maybe 4.8% range. And we think we can do it for less this year. There are no other questions. That's four, four dollars, under five bucks a month. I think Calgarians will notice. Well, of course they'll notice um, because money's money's money. But you're right. And, you know, I hate using these percentages because when we talk about 4.7 and 3.5 percent, it's on a number that doesn't exist. It's 4 percent over last year's rate, which no longer exists because we revenue adjust the rate for increases in assessment. So I prefer using the dollars per month. And what we're talking about is reducing the average monthly bill from an increase of six dollars and ninety cents a month to just under five dollars a month. It's two dollars a month. It's not an enormous amount of money, but in these times, it's an important symbol for us to send.